Hi there, sign up Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading. I hope you're doing really well. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here, like, share, subscribe. If you're not new here, welcome back and definitely still um, like the video. That helps. Goodness, that's a lot. <laughs> Look at all the purples. <laughs> what in the file? Um, okay, Virgo, let's see. So I open up to your spirit team, your spirit guides, your angels. We obviously have a lot of messages wanting to come out already. Purpose, I know what I'm here to do. Might be in a decision regarding that or regarding your purpose. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So saying that that might help you with something that you've been undecided about or some kind of indecision. Friendship. <clears throat> I understand a friend is in my life for a reason. Maybe a Leo, because I have courage now, too. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And that maybe a Libra. I have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. Um, and I do so without judgment, which Virgo Taurus had a lot of, a lot of Virgo in their reading too. So what we're going to do is break through spread possibly on whatever indecision this is. It's coming across like it's um, the two of swords, you know, like you're having to weigh up options. Hmm. Okay. So the breakthrough spread has six spots. The first spot is the pattern and then we will have the challenge, the breakthrough card power card and the outcome card and I'm going to do maybe a couple of these first these are uh, little it's called a real talk oracle but they really help with um guide helping guide assist the reading so tell us about this situation the pattern maybe we'll start with the pattern for Virgo Okay. Wow. You are protected. Hella expressive on the bottom. You are protected is the main message. Imagine being washed over by magical waters that cleanse and protect you. Set your intentions and move forward without fear. If you are fully protected, what can stop you? Okay. So that might be the indecision about moving forward and, and because of feeling I don't know, like you need some more protection or something like that. Give yeah, us some more messages on this. See beyond the 3D. I think it's about having courage to see beyond the 3D here. <clears throat> Sometimes events and situations are beyond what we see physically at the moment. And now is the time to trust there's more than meets the eye. Understand the 3D world that we live in is just one aspect of our reality. Oh, and then the magic eight ball. Remember that? <clears throat> you are a magical being with the ability to create your own reality. This involves stepping in your power and believing in your own abilities. When armed with this confidence, you'll create and be a living example of magic. And you are worthy is probably part of your breakthrough. You are worthy of all your desires. No matter what you've experienced in the past, you are deserving of love, happiness, and whatever your definition of success may be. I like that. Okay, so going into um, the tarot, I'm using that tarot that I have. I thought you could see it. You can't. The Enchanted for Hoxa for Ox. Hoxa or Hoxa? Tarot. Making sure you can see it. If you need a private reading, Virgo, if you feel like this resonated and you just need something more personal or tailored to you, just um, check out my website. That is in the description box below. And I think there are some, well, there's some other things there too. The website. <clears throat> Messages for the sign of Virgo. What is the pattern that they should know that they're protected? Oh, 
your pattern it comes down to what are you investing in I, and with this protect is like it's okay to and I feel like this is saying it's okay to make that decision that jump that leap if it's especially if it involves like an investment with you or will help you with balance you know because we have this balance card to do you see that balance? yeah okay <clears throat> friendship courage purpose indecision and then the seven of earth we come back to a pattern of am i getting am is this success is this fulfilled for me? Is it, or am I seeing things grow? Is there a promise? Is there just something, a matter of patience for me, you know? Because it might be about choices, consequences, patience. It can be about all of those things. But it, I think it has to do with um, feeling okay and protected to invest in something. If you would like seeing beyond the 3D, seeing that, um, well, it's, it's first made via your thought, thought form. So what is the challenge? The balance, something to do with the balance, the effort, the moon. So the moon is, if something is um, a little bit deceptive or isn't completely clear. Now the moon, it, it can represent something not look, looking as it is or illusions or disillusionment but I think it's about um, having the courage to step out into something that you don't know for sure you don't see it materializing there's nothing that can really prove to you that these changes are something that are, are going to be good for you but you're saying they're saying you're completely protected even from that which you cannot see you are protected from so i don't know <clears throat> maybe you have your angels maybe you have the christ light maybe yeah whatever it is just to know that you have it and that it's strong will help you get through these challenges where there's moon energy okay i'm not taking all of that so let's go ahead and get a card whoa <laughs> the breakthrough and I will clarify if I if we, if we feel like we need to that look there's choices and decisions to earth and the full choices and this one wanted to come out with the challenge so it's clearly saying it is it is about the effort that either someone is or isn't putting in it's all about the effort you are worthy of somebody putting in their maximum effort look how the uh, colors in her her jacket match those colors that's really cool in that card so you're worth somebody putting in the whole the effort right Take a chance. Take a chance on me. Na, 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 na. Take a chance. Take a chance. A breakthrough also with the nine of earth in the reverse is it's breaking free from some kind of um, codependency situation. It may be about breaking free from that type of energy. Um, needing to do something maybe independently or on their own. What is your power card? The Four of Air. I feel like you can weigh things out with this Libra energy too. And, and um, you know when you need to heal or when something needs to heal. You know when something needs a time out or a break. Your ability to recognize that and then actually take time to think about things instead of jumping into anything quick. This is taking your time with the choices and um, decisions that you have to make. This is possibly about wanting to heal a situation, but you're mainly healing yourself and saying, I'm getting out of some kind of conflict, at least for the moment, so that you can heal yourself. 
<clears throat> Virgo. Wow. <laughs> Outcome energy. And it's wanting to come over here. What is not changing with your partnership with the lovers in reverse? Something is not changing. So taking a time out from each other might be what this is saying. Um, in comparison, if somebody is not making in the same investment or effort and the knight of air in the reverse is like this there's a person that's resistant to um the change i don't know to changing isn't changing is disappointing their decisions disappointing their lack of effort disappointing their lack of determination or focus disappointing And it's affecting you. So that's why they're like, take a time out and rethink this. <sighs> okay. You may have a friendship in your life for that specific purpose. Helping you. Helping you through something. What's the advice? You have Gemini energy. You were really, 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 really strong. Take care of yourself. Queen of Water in the reverse. Four of Fire. Protected. You're even more protected when you take care, good care of yourself. Watch out for... I'm going to get a, a clarification that, that this can be somebody who's kind of like emotionally this person could drain you <laughs> this person could drain you this queen of water like just being around this energy might be pulling you down in a little bit so you've got to just be careful that you're not overextending yourself um but you are open here with this page of fire something new something passionate something that your soul literally came here to do it's part of the milestone it's growth it's completion. It may involve a breakup. I'm not going to lie. Or going your own way on some issue. Alright. So I'm going to get clarifying. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Finding balance. Finding balance. I'm going to get it to clarify balance up here. It might have to do with work, with your pentacles, with the amount put in, uh, or money given out, even. This is new, passionate, passionate in the sense of it's more like fun instead of work. Or it's a person who's real playful, fun, flirty energy, like I, I could see it meaning that energy too. What is the balance about? What is the balance about? Letting go of painful things from the past. There's Scorpio and Cancer energy. And um, balance, I think it's pertaining to self-awareness. Where you are and if we're balanced or not. Obviously, if you're holding on to disappointment of things from the past. Still, even those person or places. Like, this could be an energy that's just really hard to get over. Right, so that could be that could be also what we're doing is we're being very self aware of um, how balanced are we? Do we need to recheck? You always need to recheck, and I would because the the moon being out here, I would think that something could be not as it seems. This is about oh the two of swords. Look, I, that's what I saw in the very beginning. That this is about moving past a stalemate. It's about releasing and letting go of these energies that we have processed and remembering that that is a process. Um, anyway, that takes time also. But the chariot is um, going to pick up momentum and bring in balance once we look more so at the things that we're really happy to have in our life and the things that we are abundant, all the ways that we are currently abundant not what we're wishing for, but how we can already find that or um, examples of it. And I think it's saying that also will help you a whole lot. Because <clears throat> it's about protecting your investment. 
All right, so um, indecision. Those initials might mean something, NCE. Me and Nancy, <laughs> too, is coming across. I had a relative, she's passed away, but a Nancy. She may be helping, actually. I have the Six of Wands and I have the Six of Swords. Six, six. It's about the journey um, that you're taking. Experiencing the storm but getting out of it is, is teaching you how to use your intuition, when to listen to your intuition. Um, getting away while, while your intuition is telling you that. So to get away and to be victorious uh, also... Like, against even opposition, you're victorious here. But this is part of the part of the struggle or, or the challenge is um, part of... So, part of the decision has to do with actually physically getting away, traveling, going in a different direction than somebody else. Look, we are solving any kind of financial worry or any material worry here on this earth plane with that. So, I love that 6-6. Six, six. That's beautiful for you. <clears throat> okay what is the challenge with the moon what's the challenge with the moon working together with others <laughs> and also maybe a little bit of finding out some information it can be about also getting like helpful criticism not taking it as something yeah, taking it as like getting comments on um, how good that you're doing in a in a home business, possibly Queen of Pentacle, maybe collaborating with others, also sharing ideas, which I think it would be wonderful on how to conserve our resources, so that we, you know, all um, are concerned about how. Each one of us gets to live in the in the future and how we can work together better <laughs> more efficient but with more compassion to the Queen of Pentacles so there's something I feel like whatever this is whatever you're lined up with um, Regarding your pentacles, it looks like home business, looks like something you could do from home. It looks to me like you will seek out cooperation. You're not sure that you're going to get it, but you definitely are. And you'll do your own research education. But the Queen of Pentacles is like, you don't really need this energy. I know it's, it's not, I don't, don't want to say it. Like, I'm not dis disregarding anything. But this, this is just like, a, it's either a disappointment or an energy you're still holding on to from a past um person that would things just wouldn't change and this is being able to do all the roles in one all the roles okay so your breakthrough was the nine of earth in the reverse tell me more about that breakthrough for virgo it's the truth it's the truth it's my confirmation um the ace of swords is it, it's either needing more information or it has to do with like i said being a little bit more independent or somebody being less codependent it can be a mixture i think it is a mixture but it definitely has to do with some truth or clarity coming in about how much value they're bringing to something how much effort they're bringing to something i think whoa another ace and the tower holy crap the these two are very similar the ace of wands and the page of fire that's part of your advice somebody only take this if it resonates they're saying that somebody in the advice with the queen of cups in reverse is emotionally manipulative or man, trying to be emotionally manipulating a situation but not really getting away with this not putting in much effort expecting the same amount out without the same amount of effort doesn't make sense <laughs> and so the tower is bringing about really 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 big new opportunities and this energy is saying 
that you definitely are indecisive about something that you, I feel like you know the information though for, or maybe gaining or acquiring more information is what you're trying to do. Wow. Passion, new um, work or, or um, partnership. I mean, either way. Or something that starts like as a, a friendship, a wonderful friendship here. No more waiting. No more waiting. Cutting out an emotionally manipulative person or situation out of your life. Working, collaborating with those that are for your positive changes. And it is all about looks and thinking, thinking, thinking. How you think, especially when you're alone, contemplating. Make sure your uh, thoughts are balanced. Wow. No more waiting. Tell me about um, any more advice. Advice. Ending this. Ending this situation. After something is revealed. Oh, well, that it are that this had already ended is being. Re that's, that's. So any more advice is to end to walk away. When something is revealed to you, don't stay in a disillusioned state. Don't keep picking the things that are unclear and then yield unclear results to you. All right, I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you now and wrap up the reading. That's all I got for this. This is really good, though. This is really, really, really positive. I like it. I like it. News or information? Good Lord, do you see this? This energy is here to help you let go, it says. It is now time to let go of all that no longer serves you. Free the pent-up energy inside you and imagine it leaving your body as you breathe deeply. Forgive disappointments and pains. Do not allow bitterness in. Let go of control and allow for that which needs to die to die so that you may blossom once more. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Another one is good. Uh, cleansing. Feeling bogged down by the weight of a thousand thoughts, feelings, boxes of mystery objects lurking in your closets. Consider a prescription to clean house, mentally, physically, literally, figuratively, and anything else that applies adverbal adverbally. It is hard to make room for new connections and experiences when every bit of your emotional space is cluttered with a psychic brick a brock. So enjoy a major guilt-free flush out and not to worry, you can always find a new psychic Rick A. Brock in the metaphorical clutter section of Craigslist. Let's see. Anything else from this part of the deck? Freedom. Might be about, it might be about your freedom. This is, by the way, this is just a mix deck of stuff. Freedom. Coming, getting out of that cage. Oh, well, there we go. 16. Um, and these are also cry on affirmations. Confidence. Have confidence. Gaia is your partner. Gaia is a partner. It says, 16, the planet is changing and the indigenous were right. They lifted the dirt in their hands and said, this is life. The consciousness of Gaia is aligned with your own consciousness. That is why it feels so good to be simply in nature. So maybe some healing will help you in nature. My core essence, perfect health. Um, the core essence is the creative force or a source, and it floods my cellular structure with pure light and perfect health. Pure light of God flowing constantly through my cells. And remember, words are just words. Labels, definitions. You actually are the one that comes up with these things. Um, eventually, divinity within the system 
is within me. The very essence of divinity lies within the multidimensional attributes of my DNA. I'm filled with love. Look, and I have your ascending, 16 and 17. Gaia is here for you. Yes, indeed, the planet knows who you are. It loves you. Gaia is not God, but it has itself a consciousness. It is in service to humanity and is here for you. Gaia loves to take care of you. And another courage card. You got two courages. Yep. Courage. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. All right. That's what I've got for you. So send you light and love. Like, share, subscribe, and meet me back for your energy update reading. Bye-bye.